a, a marvellous studio this evening with uh, uh, acts, brand new acts, great legends, all sorts of people. And speaking of great legends, one of the greatest guitar players of all time, and great singers, great songwriters, the lot, we have David Gilmore. Thank you. Very nice to see you. So, congratulations on your number one album, Luck and Strange. I was talking to Matt Johnson, and it was his first album for 25 years. Yeah. But this is your first album for nine years. That's still quite, it's not 25, but it's quite a gap. Why it's so long? Been a lot of albums over a lot of years, and I'm slowing down a little bit at this uh, point in my life. It sounds I'm, very... I'm working all the time, but without um, a timetable. And yeah. it just takes a while. Next one will be much quicker, I promise. You think? Good, yeah. okay. We're all standing by for that in a couple of years' time. Um, Luck and Strange, great title. Where does that come from? Um, well, it's Polly's lyrics to a track, um, which is a jam session that we did in 2006 with Rick Wright playing um, the keyboards on it. Um, and we've repurposed it for this. And the lyrics are about the temptations and a sort of lifestyle that um, I've had and other people in our business have had. You know all about those yourselves. Well, and how, um, how, how difficult it is be, to resist those temptations. Yes, I mean, that, that Piper's call is, you know, summoning you to follow and you find it hard to resist. Always somebody, yeah. but also temptations and diversions. It's always yeah. something to divert you, what you're trying to get with the music that's, you're trying to do. That too. But that's um, sort of a... These things are a long way in the past. And Polly is, of course, a great author. It's a very yes. good title of that book, uh, Lying in Bed. Yes. Great title, that double meaning there. But, um, and, but she, she's been doing she's... some of the words, but also you've had other family members helping, haven't you? Well, um, Romany, my daughter, is singing lead vocal on one of the tracks for the next song we're going to do. Anyway. Her voice is amazing, I have to say. I heard her sing oh, yeah. maybe... 10 years ago or something, and she was good then. Now she's absolutely incredible. She sang with your band, didn't she? My big band. She sang uh, La Vie en Rose. Mm. Made us all weep. It was beautiful. When she was 13. Yeah, exactly. Because mm. you are noted as one of the world's great guitar players. Does the flow come out more easily, I suppose? Um, with the right piece of music and the right words inspiring you, there are still moments where it comes flowing out very naturally. Other times, takes a bit more work. <laughs> now, you've just done some triumphant shows in Rome at the ancient Circus Maximus, home of the chariot races. Yes. The, uh, you know, gladiators and all of that. 150,000 people it used to hold until Julius Caesar upped the capacity to 250,000. But we only used a tiny bit at one end, a measly 15,000 people. Well, that's pretty good. And there were no, <laughs> and there were no chariots or anything? No. Nope. But, I, but no. of course, the question you just played in Rome, the question I know a lot of people are going to be asking, what did you have to eat? Well, Italy is a, a legendary place for food. I love Italian food, of course. But um, we were a little bit stuck in a very lovely hotel which had a brilliant restaurant, so... In a moment, you're going to do the closing song yeah. on the show, and Roman is going to sing it. What is it you're going to do? It's doing? called Between Two Points. Um, it's a song um, by um, a band from the 90s called the Montgolfier Brothers, two guys um, who wrote this lovely song, lovely, vulnerable song that Polly and I both listened to on a regular basis until we came to the, the thought one day that Polly suggested that we... Um, do a cover version. I thought, we don't do cover versions, but on this occasion, it's such a great song. Well, it's it sounds, definitely worth it. It sounds absolutely wonderful. And congratulations on a, a wonderful record that's gone to number one, quite rightly. Thank you very much. David Gilmore. Thank you, Lovely to see you again. And now...